folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-August readings for all Zodiac signs. Keep in mind, they are general readings, so if they apply, that's awesome. If they don't, kick them to the curb. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info is in the box below. If you are interested in learning tarot, I do have tarot card classes. They are uh, six videos, one's a bonus, they're $20 a piece. Give me a shout if you want to learn. Also, if you're interested in the mystery healing boxes that Crystal and I have created, you can get the info from us in the box below. This reading is going to be for Gemini. Let's see what's shaking with you in mid-August 2018. Gems, do you feel like you're in an uphill battle? Let's find out. Bottom of the deck. Gemmies, you have the king of coins. King, queen, don't matter, it's an energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But this is somebody who is practical, methodical, a realist. They don't sugarcoat anything. They see things how it really is. This is somebody who likes to have their material things and appreciates the hard work that goes into it. Let's see how this applies. Jemmys, let's get it. We're going to start off with the Major Arcana, the Hangman. Now, this is somebody who feels stuck. Don't go forward, you don't go backwards, you're just in limbo. But Gems, it's seeing something in a different perspective. And what's crossing you to help a hinder is the Knight of Coins. Again, Taurus Captain bleh, Spit it out. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody who takes on the properties. But it is, it's a messenger. It's a messenger of the sea, here, taste, touch, prove things. The real things. The money things. The things that have worth and value to you, gems. Gemini, maybe you have to get more grounded to see things for how it really is in a different perspective. To see what's being offered to you. Because gems, I feel like something wants to come through. Now, yes, pentacles are the slowest moving, you know, element there is. But it's practical and it's methodical. It's real. It's solid. So when it does come to you, you know, you can believe it. Now, in your foundation, gems, you have justice. You can be dealing with Libra. But this is something that gets rectified, something that gets justified, something that gets made fair. If it's in the court system, it goes your way. It could be karmic justice. So something is finally made fair. Hmm. Gems, maybe you're trying to be fair. And that's an uphill battle for you. But your crowning card here, Gems, it's a two of wands. And this is being at a crossroad, you know, not knowing which way to turn. But in the medieval cat tarot, this cat's plotting a course. He knows when he gets to that fork in the road, he knows exactly where he's going to go. So, Gems, if it's a direction... That you're needing. You gotta get yourself grounded. You will do the fair thing. You will do the right thing. Absolutely. But with a clear head. Being grounded. A realist and seeing something for how it really is. Oh, look it. Because you know I'm nosy. You gotta look at it. What's behind it? The Ace of Pentacles. Universe giving you an opportunity to see if you take it or not. Again. Is a messenger to see here, taste, touch, proof things. 
Yes, the universe put that opportunity in front of you. When you get grounded and practical. Because once you make that move, Gems, you know where you're going. That's when it gets offered to you. Now in your recent past. Woof. You get the tower. And this is something that comes in out of left field. Didn't see it coming. But you never do when it's a tower. And it's something that breaks down, you know, your foundation. Brings it to your core. Because something had to, Gems. And if this had to come in to make you see something in a different perspective, I hope you're seeing it. Because I do believe that that's why the tower came in in the first place. This is to get you unstuck, Gems. To get you moving in a direction. Now going into your future, you have the Knight of Wands. He comes from the uh, suit of fire, which is Aries Leo Sag. But more so a message. A message to take action. A message to move on something. Put something into action. Get unstuck. See something in a different perspective, Gems. Now, whether this is in, you know, a friendship, partnership, love ship, career ship, any ship. I think that you are being forced to see something at a different angle, at a different point of view. Because seeing it this way, Gems, you will move on something. Now, how people see you in your environment... They see you as the Four of Swords. And this is somebody who's taking a step back, taking a breath, reprioritizing, re-strategizing, making a plan, making a plan B. And when people look at you like this, Gems, okay, you're not really stuck. If you are plotting that course, know what your next move is, people see you as doing this. Gems, you're an air sign. You're very analytical. Okay? Facts, figures. You know? Putting those emotions in the back seat. But what's in your environment is the Ace of Cups. Emotions. Love. The universe giving you an opportunity to see if you take it or not. A brand new love? Could be. Love for yourself? Absolutely. But an opportunity, again, to see something in a different perspective. And moving on it. Gems moving on it. Now, in your hopes and in your fears. You have the sun card. Most positive card there is in the deck there, Jemmies. You can be being put in the spotlight. All eyes on you. But this is feeling happy again. You know, being positive. Who fears that? That's a hope. <laughs> Gems, I think if you're getting strategic and plotting and coursing a direction to go in, anything, love, partnership, all the ships, you're doing the right thing. Keep grounded. Because not sugarcoating anything, seeing something for how it really is, okay, brings the opportunity in. Your outcome card is a nine of wands. Now here's somebody who's been in the battle for a while, but he doesn't give up. He has that one wand in his hand that he takes down all the way to the end. Why? Because he's got that course of action. Doesn't matter what the other eight wands are doing. Go kick rocks. Go join a circus. Clean up after the elephants. Doesn't matter. Defend this action that you want to take. Nine's at the end of, you know, a cycle. Here, yeah, Gems. Stay in the fight. You're on the right path. And if you stay in it and stay clear and focused, you'll get your happiness. Without a doubt in my mind. 
So that's what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.